Hi everybody, it's me, Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. It is Wednesday when I'm filming this, the 25th, I believe. And um, I have a coloring book haul for you guys today. This is some of the books that I've purchased um, in the month of February. I um, told myself I wasn't going to buy any more books, but of course that didn't happen. So these are the books that I purchased. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's hopefully um, going to share some new books with you guys. I've had a couple people ask for book recommendations and what's new out there. So these are just what I like to color. Everybody colors differently and has different tastes. So these are just the things that I prefer. And um, I already colored a couple pages in some of them. I just haven't really had time to film longer videos this, the last two weeks um, because I've been training at my new job. I am a um, receptionist for Elements Massage, which I'm really enjoying. It's a lot of fun. And the crew is really nice and a lot of really great people that I work with. So it makes it for a good working environment. And it is relaxing and not stressful, which is something that I need in a job. Because of my fibromyalgia and other health issues, I can't have any stress because it can cause flare-ups and make my health life a living nightmare to deal with. Those of you that have that know that that is true. And yeah, I've been really enjoying getting out and talking to people and forcing myself out of the house and being a stay-at-home mom for the last nine years has been the joy of my life, but I'm glad to be doing something else. It's it's time. It's time for me to kind of let go of the reins a little bit. So, yeah. Anyways, the first book that I got is Valentine's Mandalas by Alexander Franzese. This is my pile of finishes, by the way. It's going to be big this month, so I am proud of myself for that. This is what the book looks like. It's very pretty in Valentine's Eve. I have colored a few pages in here already, so I'll just show those to you guys. This is what they look like. I did that one. That one. And I think that's all. I like her work because it's darker line art, so it's um, really nice looking with markers and stuff. And lately, all I've been wanting to do is really easy pictures, so it's not too stressful. I like this one. The hearts and butterflies, that one's cute. You guys seem to really like the silent coloring, so I'll be doing more of those on the channel. Um, I'll also be trying to do some time-lapse coloring soon. I'm going to try some different things next month and see how it works and change some stuff up. Oh, that one's cute with the bears. But yeah, she's been quickly becoming one of my new favorite coloring book artists. Um, I love discovering new artists every year. It seems like every year I discover a new one that one of my friends recommends and their books pop up and I just really enjoy them and she is one of them. So I'll go ahead and put that one away. The next one I bought is Chibi Girls Adorable Pets by Sachin Sachdeva. I needed some spring Eastery type books, so this one kind of fit the bill. She 
She reminds me of Lilo from Lilo and Stitch. Very cute. That one's cute. I like this one. That one's cute too. I like this one with the rain. I always like rain pictures, but I feel like I never color them the way I see it in my head, which is disappointing. These are just extra pages. I usually use these for blotter pages. And there is that book. The next one I bought is Nature Goddess by Deborah Muller. We'll go ahead and do a flip of this one. That one's pretty. Misty always gets me in a Deborah Muller mood because I watch her beautiful pages when she colors those. one. Ooh, I like this one too. Pretty. I love the hair. But yeah, so life's just been a little bit busy lately. I appreciate you guys for hanging in there with me. I've tried to post a couple little shorts here and there. That one's pretty. I've seen this one colored already a lot. I like this one too. I like all of them. But these were all kind of, I think I purchased um, this one around the 11th or 12th, I want to say, and I'm just now getting around to showing it so next one is children of the woods I also saw this on Misty's channel and I live in the woods so I had to get it Love this one. That one's cute. I like how she always puts her little kitties in with her pictures. That's cute. I like this one. I think I might have showed this one already on the channel. And if I did, I'm sorry. I did because I remember these guys. Oh, well, we can do another flip through.
these are the books and our artists that I would recommend if you're new to coloring and looking for stuff because they also have a presence online and are very very sweet people so I like to promote their work for them I don't get any kickbacks for doing this kind of stuff. I purchased these with my own money, so. Yeah, there's that one. The next book that I got was A Beautiful Beauties in Fairyland by Coco Wyo. I think this is an older Coco Wild book, but I needed to get it because I didn't have it yet, so. If you like fairies, this is probably right up your alley. I like this one. I like this one. Mm, gorgeous. I love this picture. So pretty. They're all pretty. Ooh, this one's gorgeous too. I can't wait to color in this book. There's the back of it. Next one is A Fairy's Gone Wild by Deborah Muller. I believe this is her newest release. That one's cute.
there is that. And then I got Amazing Mandalas by Alexander Franzese. And I'll just do a quick flip of these. Because there's lots of them. And this is kind of what they look like. And then the last book that I got is Matchstick Mouse, a Halloween coloring book. Cute. I like these books. And yeah, so that is it for my coloring book haul this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!